That's pretty cool. Whoa! Mammoths? Seriously? Okay. Yeah, right, Saul, as if you didn't know this was going to happen. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start a new prospect and buy some stuff. So I've got 950 Rin um, and 567 um, exotics. Um, some of that came from yesterday, uh, Friday and Saturday afternoons live streams that we did. And then some of it, uh, I did a couple of speed runs, uh, just off camera speed runs of a deep van extraction. Uh, the first time I did it, it took me about an hour. The second time I did it, it only took me about 40 minutes. Um, and, um, <clears throat> so, you know, we got a little bit more, uh, cash and a little bit more exotics doing that. If you guys are interested in me, uh, doing that on camera for you i certainly can um but you know you've seen me already do the mission normally and if you've been watching the live streams you've seen me do it uh you know on multiplayer too so uh, just let me know in the comments if you want, want to see me do that but you know it's pretty much the same thing okay so let's go to the workshop first and um we got a little bit of money to spend and i've been thinking about what i want to do um for today i think we're going to upgrade to the shingong dong pickaxe um, I'm going with this one over this one because this one has a 30% wear rate and you can't uh, repair these. Um, so, yeah, that's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, this one, the only negative effect of this one is it consumes 15% stamina, but, you know, who cares, man? Uh, have some flatbread or something and that's just not going to matter. Uh, I can't afford anything higher than that at the moment. And I'd, I'd rather kind of work my way up you know, the tree, so to speak, to the good stuff rather than save up and then just go straight to the good stuff. Um, you know, I, that's just the way that I want to do it. Some people will save up until they can get to good stuff and that's fine. But um, in, in my case, I'd, I'd rather just, you know, get just work my way up so I can experience a little bit better tools as we go. And it's going to make our missions a little bit nicer uh, or easier, I guess I should say. All right. So we're going to get the Shing Gong Dong pickaxe. We're going to research it, and we're going to craft it. Okay, so that leaves us 550 rin left. And then I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the Shingong Key Knife. Um, amongst the knives, the thing I don't like about this one is that it's based upon, uh, most of its benefits are based upon throwing, and I don't throw knives, uh, so we're not doing that. Uh, this one is 25% plus 25% perceived threat while stealth if i could remember to switch the knife before i stealth then this wouldn't be a bad one to get but um i'm not going to remember to do that <laughs> this one's too expensive for us to afford right now uh so that leaves the key knife and this is based upon skinning so this gives us a buff from spinning uh skinning i'm sorry uh but it does also consume 10 percent more stamina which again not that big a deal really when it comes down to it okay so we're going to research this one and we're going to make this one. All right, so we got an upgraded pick and an upgraded knife to help us get uh, going on the missions. Now, uh, just to kind of let you know what's coming up, uh, on our multiplayer yesterday, uh, one of our guys had this MXC furnace, and uh, I am sold on this furnace. This furnace is amazing because uh, you can get going on smelting stuff right away, and uh, you know you don't have to, to do the stone furnace thing instead. And this really just helps speed things up for us. Uh, so I want to get this, at you know, in the future. Okay. And then I also want to uh, start working towards uh, these better Enviro suits as well as uh, the carbon armor. Armor. We will eventually, you know, upgrade to this better bow. And um, I'd like to unlock some of these arrows for starting out with too. Uh, but we just don't have enough uh, bank to do that today. So, yeah, upgrading the knife, the pick. I don't think I'll upgrade the axe. Um, I mean, this MXC axe actually does fine. And um, I, I just don't see myself spending, unless, you know, it's we're talking way later on and we just kind of have, you know, a currency to burn, that sort of thing. I'll probably just stick with this one. Um, but the pick is definitely going to be a benefit to upgrade as well as the knife. Those are, are two of our most important 
um, devices. Okay. So that leaves us 150 and 567 left. Um, the only other thing I guess we could maybe look at is some modules, but that's falling resistance, suit inventory slots, only two, weight capacity, fire resistance, less oxygen, food, and water consumption, can see creature alert level and health. I think that's the thing that outlines the creatures, which I think is immersion breaking and poison resistance. Honestly, you guys, out of all of these, I still kind of think the one that gives us more movement speed is probably really the best one. Um, I don't know. Maybe these are a little bit better. Okay, plus five inventory suit slots wouldn't be bad. And that's, again, that's kind of the highlight when aiming tracking thing, which i um, not a fan of, to be honest with you. Uh, all right, so, yeah, that's kind of what's coming up for what I want on the workshop. And then, obviously, we will eventually work our way up to the the uh, the best pick and the best knife <clears throat> and the best bow and all that. But that's going to take a while because that stuff's pretty expensive to get. Okay, so we finished with that. Let's go to um, here. And I've, I've been thinking about what I want to do next, and I think we're going to go ahead and do the Avalanche Expedition. My understanding about this mission, I don't know what happens in it. I haven't watched a video. I've just heard... Uh, things about it that it's kind of kind of long, kind of grindy, uh, but it's going to pay out 600 uh, in Aris, uh or Rin rather. I'm sorry uh, when we finish it. Um, plus, it uh, unlocks um, all of these quests that you know kind of come up this way. So uh, I think that's the one we will do next. So with that being said, forge a path to the ice. Um, for whatever reason, our buddy's not talking to us, but that's okay. Uh, basically, we use advanced mining equipment to clear a path to the Arctic and open the region for prospecting. Okay, so um, we will be supplied ice cutting equipment, but of course we have to do the rest. Our objectives are to reach an Arctic pass and then scout the area. Um, a seven day mission, three skull difficulty. Let's do it. Uh, for our loadout, we're going to take our new knife and our new pick, and we're going to leave the old knife and pick behind. We want our I wasn't taking this with me on the on the speed runs because uh, you don't use that on the speed runs, or at least I don't. Uh, let's go back to the gatherer's backpack so we can carry more ore. And um, yeah, th didn't I just pull that over there? I guess I didn't. And we'll leave this stuff here behind. And I think that's our loadout. <clears throat> Excuse me for getting started. So let's confirm it. And this is private. Click yes, and I'll see you guys on the planet. This one. Luckily, Legos dropped you some fancy ice cutting gear. Cause Group 15's last weapons test brought down half a mountain in your path. The bad news is the delivery drone got pasted by a storm. Crash zones marked on your map. Still, you came to Icarus for adventure, right? How's that going for you? <laughs> okay, smart ass. Uh, all right, you guys. So let's see where we're at, first of all. Wow, okay, we are way, way over this direction. And, um, oh, we're in the Riverlands. Okay, we are in the Riverlands. And so this is where we, we have to get to. So what I think I'm going to do is work my way through the Riverlands till we get close to the edge of the Arctic biome. And then set up shop there and start getting uh, prepared to do this. And I will uh, bring you guys back with an update, as usual, um, when the time is right. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a while. All right, guys, I am back. And uh, we are going to head into the Arctic um, and just kind of see what the deal is there. Uh, so I've ground uh, up to the machining bench, and I have the shotgun and the rifle and some ammunition here. I might not uh, go to Tier 4, you know, and get the fabrication bench if I don't need to. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got the, the typical house that I usually build, the, the 3x4. And uh, we got, you know, biofuel composter, cooking station, cooking bench... Uh, concrete furnace, you know, the usual stuff, right, that we would need for Tier 3. So, um, I have some uh, fur armor, so we're going to grab this, and we're going to put this on, and 
head into the Arctic. I also um, want to check for some caves up there. Uh, I had some really, really, really bad luck um, earlier. Basically, what happened is I'd put up a little uh, one by two wood shed, shed and started putting my stuff in it to get started um, up on the hill over here. Uh, I still got to get a little deck built out there. Uh, up on the hill, right by this waterfall. And I placed a, a campfire outside, and it was it was plenty far enough away from, you know, the wood structure. And anyway, there was a tree here that I cut down earlier. And apparently the game still thought it was there, so it caught the tree on fire, which then in turn caught the shack on fire, burned it down. I lost... <laughs> lost damn near everything and you know it losing the equipment wasn't th such a big deal the workstations but i i lost you know like um i don't know probably at least a hundred iron and i had also uh, mined up 60 platinum that i was going to use to make a pick later on and i lost that and yeah it just really set me back So, yeah, that was just super bad luck. Uh, but anyway, um, the other thing I want to show you, though, is we got ourselves a magic fish pool. Watch this. You come up here, and you kill these guys, and then new fish spawn instantly. So you can just sit here and cheese these fish and get all the fish you want, and they'll just keep spawning. Isn't that crazy, man? So, yeah, there you go. Um, so, yeah, that's it's just this little pool at the end of the waterfall. Uh, incidentally, uh, my game just crashed right before I started the recording, so I had to reboot. But um, this is just right at the very, very bottom of F7, top of F8, if you're curious as to where this location is. But um, anyway, so, yeah, um, let's go ahead and head into the Arctic now. Um, I actually went close to the Arctic entrance, not all the way into it, but close to it. And Saul spoke up and he's, he said something about this used to be um, metals with a bunch of alien wildlife that would eat you, but then the terraforming happened and it turned into an Arctic tundra kind of thing. Uh, but it didn't advance the quest, he just, it just triggered him saying that. Uh, I didn't know he was going to say that or I would have stayed further away so you guys could have heard it. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's what happened, so... Uh, all right, so let's see here. Let's drop off our fur armor in here. We don't need to carry that with us. And we might as well put this fish in here to cook up. And I think we're about ready to go. Let's 
take a, uh, this full lantern here. I've got two mechanical drills uh, in some caves up in this area. Um, one's on a gold node uh, deep vein and one is on an iron deep vein. Uh, but every time the damn game stops, or if I log out and log back in, it stops the drills, and I have to run all the way back over there and start them back up. It's a big pain in the ass. I'm not running back over there right now. I just don't feel like doing it. Uh, so, okay, so we got the fur armor. Uh, we got ammo. We got food. We got heat bandages if we need them. Um, do we have heat bandages? Oh, I think the game must have crashed and set me back. I don't have heat bandages. Okay, well, let's make some heat bandages. We're going to need... Some of this, and we're going to need some charcoal, and we're going to need some uh, fiber. Yeah, it crashed right after I made those. And uh, let's, I don't know, let's make, say, five. And we'll take those with us up into, Ar up into the Arctic in case we need them. Yeah. Been having <clears throat> some some performance issues with the game today. I don't know. It seems like the update over the weekend made things not quite as good. See, I even started that flower, and I guess it started, but then it stopped again. Yeah. So they need to do something about this. You know, everything stopping if you log out or the game crashes, kind of thing. It's just. Uh, I'm sure it's not supposed to be that way, but that is the way that it is currently, and it's a pain in the butt. All right, I will make this um, flower later. I don't want to make it right now. We still have uh, 10 more flatbread anyway. Uh, we can make some more poison paste, so let's do that. Okay, so we have our heat bandages. We have food. Uh, we are... In pretty good shape on on air and water so we're pretty good there and i think what time is it it's 9 43 uh so we have most of the day i'm not planning on spending up oh, i keep going out the wrong door planning on spending a lot of time in the arctic um we should probably even so uh take a campfire uh with us so we'll make one right before we go inside um also I was actually planning on building my house kind of down on that shore down there, but then lightning struck and just burned my beautiful forest up and just pissed me off. So I was like, screw it. So I just built the house right there. Ah, oh, well, that's what the way it goes sometimes. All right, let's get over here. Uh, we'll stop, like I said, and make a campfire in case we need it to warm up. Um, I'm not really, I'm not taking a shelter in there with me. I probably should, but I'm not planning on going really really far in at this point so uh, we need to eat too so let's chow down on some stuff there um and we'll get a little bit of wood all right um let's grab some stone uh there are bears all over the place here too by the way i i, I don't know how many bears i've already killed it's just nuts a little bit uh Ooh, is that a polar bear? A little bit frightening, you know, when you're running around with just a bow, but once you, once you get the shotgun, it's not a big deal. Uh, no, that's just a... Just a grizzly bear. All right, here, let's, uh, we'll deal with him when we get a little closer. Need to get a little fiber for the campfire. All right, let's craft that. Excellent. Okay, we don't need to take uh, this with us. Uh, we'll take the fiber with us and the little bit of wood. Okay, let's put that down there. And we're ready to proceed. Alright, where's that dude at? I think I see him way out there except for a bush just popped in uh, that's a long shot there with a bush in the way Let's see if we can get a better better shot here
There we go. Level 65. Okay. So, um, we got to get to this thingamadoodle here, which I guess is the pass. If I think about it, I'm going to try and grab some ice on the way back out. Oh, so we have to go through a, a cave? There it is. A million tons of ice and snow. Oh. Get that heat gun sorted and set up. Should slice right through that thing once you power it up. Okay. Heat gun. So, okay, there must be a crate around here somewhere. see a crate okay wait a minute is it sh oh what the hell is it doing way up there <laughs> what? what oh this is ridiculous why didn't you just have it be down here you stupid game I don't have very many arrows, but I'm super low on aluminum. Um, so... I'm using uh, more bullets at the moment. Okay, um, well, I guess we're gonna have to run over there and grab the heat gun. What do we got going on? Severe winds. Alright. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? me to like I guess the game wants me to build a ramp up here can I run along this way not quite why would they put it here <laughs> I don't get it ah uh, all right well, let's go get stuff to make a ramp Here's the thingamadoodle. Press E to interact. Vapor laser. This thing's kind of a heat ray. Hyper accelerated gas produces a resonant cascade, blah, 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 something lasers. <laughs> Markwell cooked it up for group 15. Ought to cut right through any amount of ice and snow in your way, though. And sure come in handy when you reach that avalanche. All right. Oh, shit, that's scary. <laughs> Get out of here. What the hell, man? Jeez Louise. I didn't need that heart attack. <laughs> man. Um, all right, so. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, let's go back and... That's the first time I've seen a wrecked pod. Um, oh, no, careful! Oh, I didn't need to do that. Ouch! Oh, god. Man, things are just... This... I'll tell you what, you guys, this quest has just... been one mishap after another. Oh, we haven't even gotten to the juicy part yet, either. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's get back over there. <sighs> what exactly is the effect of this? Oh, okay. Less weight and slower movement speed. I was going to say, it doesn't seem like it's 
hurting me or anything. Taking away health. Uh, let's go easy, though. All right. We're back in business. Severe Arctic winds. All right. Now we got to wait out this storm. All right. So it wants me to put the laser thingamadoodle up here. High-intensity strontium vapor laser. Gear like this eats power, so you're gonna have to find a way to juice it. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? <laughs> but I figure you didn't make it this far without a few <laughs> no. tricks up your sleeve. Well, guess what, guys? We do have to go to tier four. Oh man, really? All right, I don't trust this staying here. I'm I'm gonna pick it back up and keep it with me for now. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, tier four it is then. Um, all right, well, I'm going to cut the camera here and grind to tier four. So I'll see you guys sometime in the future. Oh, man, I hope I hope this quest goes a little bit better moving forward. It's just been, I've had one hell of a hard time, man. That's okay. It's fun, though. Okay, I'll see you guys in a while. All right, guys, I am back. I finally uh, got the uh, resources to make a generator. Oh, man, the biggest problem I had was finding uh, aluminum. Um, but I managed to find enough aluminum to get everything done. All right, so let's um, press G and put this thing in place. And then we will take the generator. Um, I'm assuming it's safe to set the generator up here, I guess. Oh, it's kind of big. Um, so, yeah, let's just set the genie right here. We brought a, some fuel. Let's turn it on. Where the hell's that bear at? Oh, he's way over there. That is not what I was aiming at. That's what I was aiming at. Okay. We have a wiring tool here. Uh, wait a minute. What? It won't let me hook up to it. All right. What the hell, man? What's going on here? Have to turn that off first. Does it tell me how much power it requires? Does it require more than 5,000, I guess, watts? <laughs> it doesn't say anything. If I pick it up... It doesn't, it doesn't say anything about what kind of power it's supposed to have. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Um, get out of here. So what the hell's going on here? All right, it's hooked up, but it won't turn on. Press the toggle laser. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, look at that! I don't know what. Sometimes you just gotta love Group 15. I don't know what I did wrong in the first place, but it's working now. So that's pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> Mammoths? Seriously? Okay. Yeah, right, Saul, as if you didn't know this was going to happen. All right. 
right, get out of here. Well, now I see why they put me up on this platform. Wow, Memeoths were coming towards us. And Saul didn't know it. Bullshit. <laughs> Proceed through the pass. Okay, I think I have to take this stuff with me. So, let's grab this. And we'll pick up the genie. Oh, I thought it worked even though it said it required shelter. And yeah, we don't need the wire. Okay, let's go. Uh, we need et. We don't want to get at. We just need to at. All right, let's just drop all this crap. We don't need it right now. I will keep the bones. How much do we get for uh, skinning a mammoth off? Fourteen hundred and twelve. Ooh, and a mammoth tusk. A fortune in ivory from a titan reborn. A small step towards revealing Icarus's secrets. Oh my goodness! Oh! Look at that! Ah, uh, that's too much meat to pass up, you guys. We're, we're, we're gonna have to cook this. There, I'm not leaving that behind. Um, I wonder if this would be considered shelter. Here. Wow! That is a lot of prime meat. Okay, give me all that. Give me this. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to cook all of that before it's, it all spoils. Okay, um, we'll take the bones. don't care about the rest of this. How many bones do I get from this? Okay, not a ton. Do you have like a million bazillion prime meats on you as well? Not a million bazillion, but he's got some. Man, I should have brought a fire pit out here. There's no way I'm going to be able to cook all of this, but we'll cook as much of it as we can. Well, here we are. A whole new frozen world. It's kind of beautiful. But you ain't here to admire the view. Legos Group got a theory that tectonic activity means there's more exotics in the mountains. It's about to get busy up here, so I guess we'll find out. Alright, so they want us to scout the area on the map. Okay, these suckers weigh 10 kilograms each. They're heavy. But I guess we, we're doing okay, though, in terms of being able to hang on to them. Um, okay, so... I, I don't know if I want to leave my campfire here. and I mean... I think I will leave this campfire here, but we're going to need to make another one because I don't want to go into the Arctic without a campfire. I'm not going to bother harvesting those critters. Uh, so let's just get stuff to make a new one. Yeah, that's all we need for that. Uh, we're going to need some wood. Shadows are really doing a little weird funky thing there. Kind of bugging out my eyes. Okay, um, let's see. We need some fiber, too. Okay. 
All right, that gives us a new campfire. We don't need these sticks. Um, we don't need all this extra wood either. I will just throw that in the campfire back up here. And when we come back through here, we'll just pick it up, pick up whatever's managed to cook. Okay. I think we're back in business here. Um, let's take a couple more cooked pieces with us. That gives 30 health when consumed. That's not any better than the fish meat is in terms of just straight up health that it gives you. Uh, but it's got some nice, nice buffs otherwise. Okay. So let's take a look at our map here. And the game wants us to run all the way up to here and to investigate that area. What time of day is it? It's, it's a little after one. Yeah, I think we're, we have time. We got fur armor on. We've got the means to make a fire. Uh, most likely we'll find some caves along in through here too. So, you know, we can shelter in a cave if we get uh, a storm. Well, let's do this. Oh, you know what? Seems to me like I remember somebody saying something about you need a shovel for this mission. I don't have one on me. Arctic winds. Minor winds. Um, I don't know if I need one or not, but I'm not going to take any chances. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to grab... Um... Let's grab a full stack of this and run it back to our refrigerator. I'm going to lose a, a couple of pieces along the way, but that's all right. And I'm going to make a shovel and bring it with me in case uh, that's what we need. All right, let's see how far along the storm is. It's, uh, eh, it's okay. Let's just go. Got a little bit of time left in the 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 mid uh, uh, level, whatever you call that. <laughs> okay, good. That gives us five more pieces. And uh, yeah, we'll wait for this last one too. So I made myself a shovel. We may not need it. I don't know, but I just I don't know. Some I don't. I thought somebody told me that I, you know, one of the multiplayer friends or somebody said we need a shovel for it. So I figured, well, what the hell, let's bring one. If we don't need it, it's better to have it and not need it. Am I right? Okay. We can't eat um, the prime until the normal meat buff wears off. So, okay, so let's head on up to this uh, area and uh, see what the deal is, yo. So this is like a whole new, I guess, new bar Arctic biome, kind of in the middle of the map here. I'm just going to grab my arrow. Oh, we need to be looking for caves too. Just trying to see if I can spot a cave across the way there. That might be one to the east of us. Looks looks like it is. We got one of these big holes in the ground. I don't see anything in here though. I'm pretty sure that's a cave over there. Oh, here's, here's one here, too. So are there, like, two right across from each other? Let's go look at this one real quick. 
That's good to know because all of the caves in my immediate area are all mined out. So these aren't too terribly far away. They are, but they're not. Um, yeah, this is a cave too. All right. Let's open this one up and just take a quick look-see inside. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is one of those caves with the shrooms in it that goes down below. All right. Cool. Uh, let's grab this. How much weight do I have? Eh, we're doing okay. All right, let's run across and we'll take a look at this other one. Wanted him to come a little closer. The aggro range on these guys out in the Arctic is crazy. They can see you from so far away. Actually, they can see you from about as far away as they could, and probably in real life. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Put it this way. The distance that animals can see you in this game is not very realistic. Meaning that they should be able to see you and detect you from a lot further away than they can. But it's a game, so... Okay, let's take a quick peek in here. Is this the same kind of idea? Oh, no, this is a little different. That goes way that... Oh, oh, oh. I was going to say, I just had a, a freeze up there for a second. And I'm not talking about the Arctic kind. Interesting. Yeah, we... I, I'm going to have to remember to bring some... Um, you know, more stuff to build when I come to these caves. Platforms. I got a couple of thatch ramps, but I need more than just that, it looks like. Okay, well, we can come in here and shelter if we need to. Um, let's keep on trucking. So are there no polar bears in this arc? Well, there's mammoths. We learned that. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe there isn't. That might have just happened because of the quest. And Saul telling us, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't believe you. Not as far as I can throw you. That's all I want back. And you can die. All right, let's move up this way. I'm going to have to take them apart to get my arrow. Wow, this really opens up into a very large area, doesn't it? Interesting. That is a pretty large territory. All the other Arctic biomes I've been in have just been more narrow canyons. Alright, so it wants us to go down this way. We're going to aggro these wolves, I'm sure. Are we? No, maybe not. Damn wolves all over the place. Just keep our eyes on the ground for... Um, watch out for crevasses. Or crevices. Depending upon how you pronounce it. I pronounce them crevasse. Let's carefully come down here. Wants us to go over this way. All right, that's it. That's it. The mission's done. Really? <laughs> Just go over there. And nothing happens. Okay. I guess we're done. Now, 
He did say... Exotics. I just don't know if I want to grind. That is such a long grind to get all the equipment for that. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It is getting dark as well. That's a snow leopard. Okay. Um. I'm. I would maybe consider staying and and grinding for exotics, but. I just, you know, I'm not in a very good place. Lo I'm not very good location where my base is. And, um... I would have to run all over the Riverlands, or now, you know, the Tundra, to find enough, you know, copper to make all that shit. And I, man, I just don't, I don't think I feel like doing it, guys. Yeah, I'd rather be in a place, you know, where I'm, I like the location and I have a little more direct access to resources if I'm going to do a grind that much. So I think we're going to wrap this episode up. So that being the case, I've got a very, a very long run back to our pod, but I will see you guys back there when we get back there. I was kind of hoping we could use the laser cannon thing a little bit more. That would have been fun. Holy crap, there's a lot of wolves over here. This is where I'm, maybe I should have learned the grenade or something, huh? Can I get these guys from here? Let's take a bandage. Wow. That is a lot of wolves. We better eat some fish, too, and get our, some health back. All right. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, hopefully that's all of those there are. Man. Let's get out of this place. All right, guys, we're back at the pod. Um, so I, um, I looked up online if those mammoth tusks that I found were worth anything, and from what I could tell, they're not. Uh, they don't do anything. Maybe... Someone was suggesting that they could be considered exotics, but uh, the response that I saw, and this was back in Des like on December 12th or something like that, was that they are that they're not implemented yet. So basically, they're not worth anything, um, and that therefore I'm not bringing them back with me. Uh, okay, so I think we are ready to go. We got all of our our tools back in here. I actually ran those back a long time ago. Um, and do we have our canteen and our oxygen bottle? Yes, we do. All right. Let's get out of here. This was a rough quest. Not so much that the quest itself was bad, but it just, I just had a lot of bad luck and I was in, that's not a very good position down there. Um, what? Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, we just got a, a DC. Um, you know, this area that I was in, uh, our house was here. The thing is, is there's another passage through here, but the, but the quest would not let me go through here. Um, when I got too far and it said, you know, turn around kind of thing, uh, which made no sense because it could have saved me, uh, all, having to run all the way around here just to get back up into this area. Uh, but there's, you know, for those of you who are interested, <clears throat> um, there's only three caves in here. You can't get to the ones in the Arctic until you blow open the thing, which you can't do until you get a generator, which means you have to have a tier four fabricator. Uh, you can't go through here. So what you end up having to do is run all the way back out to the main part of the Riverlands and run all over looking for caves to get all the stuff you need. So it's just a terrible spot. Um, really? Seriously, dude? Um, so there was that. I mean, if, if I do this quest again, which I probably will on multiplayer, 
I'm not going to build over here. It's just, there's just not enough resources to do that. Uh, I would if, if this was open, but it's not. So, you know, probably maybe somewhere out here. Because, I mean, you don't even, we don't really need to be near the Arctic until we have all the stuff, you know, now that I know how the quest works. Which, of course, I didn't know that until we did this. So, anyway, all that's to say, um, yeah, this was a bit of a, a rough quest. But we got her done. So, let's head on up into space. All right, here we are with our level, what level am I? I don't even know. I'm like 100, 110 or something crazy like that now, even though it just says level 50. Uh, so let's select a character. <clears throat> All right. Deep Vein and Avalanche. 600 coin. They give you a pretty nice payout. You don't get any exotics unless you stay to farm them, but they do give you a pretty nice payout, and they should, because that quest is kind of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we have 750 coin. Let's take a look at the workshop. Um, We do want to eventually, you know, like I said, work up to the, the good picks and the good knife. Um, This knife was actually pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed using it, you know, while it lasted, especially with the skinning buffs. So that, that knife is great. It wouldn't be a bad idea, I'm thinking you know, to start off with some really nice arrows. I mean, it's going to cost me 500 Rin to research this, but after that, then it's only 10. That's really cheap. Um, so I guess the difference between these is 66 to 70, 76 to 80. These are just so much more expensive to research than these are. Well, yeah, I don't know. In the long run, it probably doesn't matter. I don't know. So anyway, let's um let's consider what's going on here. What does this do? Oh, that's an archery backpack. Right. Okay. This, you know, the thing is, is this could be really handy. You could bring, like, say, both this backpack and this one. Wear this one when you get we when you first start, just because it's going to give you the archery buff, and then switch out to this one when you kind of get established and start doing a bunch of heavy duty mining. I don't know. Something to think about. Anyway. I think what I want to do, though, is I want to start <clears throat> um, opening up these suits and the armor over here, and we will eventually come back to um, and work on, you know, getting the better pick, the better knife, and the better bow. Um, so I think what we should do is, we got see, we got 750. All right, so what does this do? This gives heat resistance. Um... And one suit, one oxygen, one food, and one water. This gives cold resistance. One suit, one oxygen. Okay, so these are exactly the same. One's just better for cold, and one's better for heat. You know, I haven't been in the deep desert yet, but I've been in the canyon lands a few times now. Heat's never d seems to be that big of a deal. So I, I'd almost rather have the cold resistance one, I'm thinking, particularly, you know, for speed running deep vein extraction. So. This is going to cost all of our money just to research it. So we're not going to be able to do anything until next time, but let's let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so that's researched. And now, um, you know, after we finish the next quest or two or whatever, we'll be able to um, actually afford to, 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 to make this. And then, you know, we'll start working on these, these guys here. And see, none of these pieces are incredibly expensive they're expensive but they're not like incredibly expensive so hmm all right well something to think about for sure okay let's take a look and see what we want to do next for a new uh, a new prospect here so we've spent a little bit of time in the riverlands which to date is my favorite biome but i'd like to try something new so one of these you know we were talking about the desert opens up the desert to us i think it's this el camino expedition right and, th and this is all like the, these are all like the desert missions down here and i guess this is all arctic stuff up here so there's this snow blind scan oh it's five hours no i can't do a five hour that isn't gonna work 
with my uh, schedule this week. So we could do this El Camino, I think. Let's see what it's about. So, Lagos unit got desperate and approved an urgent Group 15 drop into unsurveyed territory. But the dropship never made it. Well, not in one piece. They want you to track it down and find out what happened, because they had enough scandals lately. Means heading into some pretty fresh territory with no backup. They asked specifically for you. All right, so the mission is to track the dropship's remains and discover what happened. And we've got some kind of a, a boss hyena, it looks like, maybe? Up here on the on the thing, it's a three skull difficulty. We only get two hundred fifty coin for this, though. All right, hold on a second. Let's go. Let's go back to the workshop for a second. We need. Okay, so that would actually allow us to 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 make this then. When once we return, because we have you know we already have exotics. How much do I get for speed running? Um. Deep vein. Let me look again. That is here. The assembly that pays 150, but I can do this in like 30 to 40 minutes. To go by, they'll be running the okay. I mean, you know, I, I'm not just doing this to to speed run stuff and make money. Of course. Uh, well, let's let's just do this this one because it's going to open up the desert to us and yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so El Camino expedition, claim prospect. And I think we have everything we already want to take with us. So, yeah, let's do it. Oh, and we need to end this episode. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll start the next episode when we touch down on the planet. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.